Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. So from today onwards, we are going to start a new series on WebDriver IO. So till now we have seen JavaScript fundamentals, right? Now it's time to implement those concepts with WebDriver IO. Okay. So as of now, we will talk about WebDriver IO only. And once we move ahead, we will discuss few other tools as well. Now in simple terms, what exactly is WebDriver IO? Okay. So if you just come down here, you can see it's a next gen browser and mobile automation test framework for Node.js. Basically, it's a framework okay, which you can use for browser automation and mobile automation for JavaScript. Okay, it is only for JavaScript. Now you must be having different question in the mind that uh, we already have a lot of uh, tools in the market. Then why WebDriver IO? Okay, so we'll come back to that question some other time. Okay, where we will compare different automation tools which we have or different automation framework we have in the market when to use what. But today let's talk about what is WebDriver IO. So basically WebDriver IO is an open source testing automation framework which is written in JavaScript which will allow you to run your test on all the major browsers which is currently in the market and it will also allow you to automate mobile native applications whether it's Android or iOS. Okay. So it supports multiple protocol, which I will show you in a couple of minutes. It supports multiple frameworks, multiple services. It has its own test runner. So that's all we will discuss one by one. So if we just visit their official website, which is webdriver.io. So first of all, you can refer the documentation. Then we have something called APIs. Okay. So we'll come back to this uh, documentation and we will be referring this documentation uh, right from downloading starting till we design above again um you know framework on top of this as well and then we'll also visit the different apis which they have exposed okay so you can see it supports multiple protocol and this is browser related commands that we have then we have web element related commands we'll come back to this again in a few minutes okay in the same way they have their own blog if you want to contribute and if you want to see the community you can explore so it's extendable it means they already have a framework, but you can extend this to the next level. You can add few helper functions. You can add more complicated scenarios with the combination of existing commands, which is like add more power to your current framework. It's, it is compatible. So basically WebDriver IO use WebDriver protocol for cross browser testing. Plus it also use Chrome Driver protocol, which is CDP for Chromium based automation using Puppeteer. Okay. So again, when, when once we discuss about the different protocol, okay, you will see all this protocol which WebDriver IO supports, okay, and you can see the different companies who are already using WebDriver IO, and WebDriver IO is very stable if you see, you know, uh, the different versions. So it started again with version four, then version five, version six, and right now at the time of recording this video, we are discussing V7. And again, they have very good documentation. Okay. Anyways, it's just redirecting here only. So we'll refer this one for their APIs and other documentation. And this is the release note. Okay. So basically what changes they're doing in each version. So if you are a techie guy, if you are interested that what exactly changes are happening with the new versions, you can refer this. Okay. What kind of bug fixes they're doing in each version you can find out here. Okay. And yeah, this is just, you know, switching to the different theme. If you ask someone who like the dark theme, you can switch over here. But for tutorial purpose, I will prefer this one. Okay, so let's go back to their official, like I will see the home page. So again, they have, you know, different talks on WebDriver IO and you can just take the course support and you can also see some resources which they have provided. And if you come down further, uh, the one thing which I liked a lot here is it supports Shadow Dome. Okay. So if you are coming from Selenium background, then you know, then we have to do a little bit of JavaScripting, right? In order to work with Shadow Dome, but in WebDriver IO, it supports by default. Okay. And they also have some special react commands. If you're working with react based application, so they have some, you know, very interesting commands for Shadow Dome and react. Okay. Yeah. So. As usual, WebDriver IO supports all modern application which is built on top of either React, Angular, Vue.js or any other native mobile application for Android and iOS as well. Okay. And if you talk about the features, as I mentioned, it's very easy to use. 
as you can see we just need to run three commands and your web driver io will be you know ready to use which i will show you in the next video for this we will be using one visual code okay but yeah depends on your requirement you can change any editor i will go with visual code okay so now let's talk about this part which is getting started so again they have a very beautiful documentation guys so once you start using web driver io you will see the documentation is very very easy to follow and uh, yeah you can see they have divided into multiple categories like this is the introduction part that what is web driver io so as you can see now web driver io as we discussed it's a automation framework which is built to automate modern web and mobile application rest everything that we have discussed it's extendable compatible plus they have built in services and plugins which will allow you to integrate okay depends on what kind of service you want to integrate okay now one thing which i have not explored from my side as per the documentation it supports native desktop application which i have not personally explored till now so in case if you have experience or if you have automated any native desktop application using web driver io please let me know okay apart from this please read, read out some documentation part you will let you know so many things okay apart from this they have getting started like how you can get started which anyways we will cover so don't worry about it but yeah it's very easy to use you just need to run this uh, web driver io cli okay then you need one configuration file and it will come with some predefined tests with page object and you can start running your test okay then if you come to core concepts then yes they have given some kind of you know core concept that you should know which i will try to cover okay then again when it comes to configuration they have a different configurations available and um, if you want some you know specific guide related to selectors timeout the browser object that we will be using mocking custom command page object model okay debugging and very important part that web driver io have its own test runner okay so if you need anything related to test runner you can explore that you if you want to retry if you want the custom report or if you want to put assertions okay and this is a very important guide for those who already are using web driver io but they are still using the older version okay so as i showed you right uh, web driver io started from version 4 5 6 and now we are using 7 as you can see so if you are using you know previous versions how you can migrate and when it comes to integration part yes you can just refer this where you can connect with the different cloud services okay if you want to just have the autocomplete features okay you just need to add a small file okay so let's say if you want this kind of auto suggestions then you just need to add a small you know json file and you should be able to get it which we will do obviously apart from that if you want to have you know if you want to indicate with jenkins if you want to indicate with bamboo which is again an, another ci tool if you want to generate ci cd pipeline using github actions you can refer this and if you talk about reporters they have so many reporters guys so it depends on your usage you want to go with allure dot reporter spec reporter video reporter json reporter and so on obviously you will not be using all of them you will use one or two depends on which what is your requirement so you don't have to use all of them but yes they have variety of reporters and okay let me just minimize them so that i can show you all the options okay okay so if you talk about the different services so they have apm service okay if you want to automate mobile uh, applications if you want to run your test case on source lab browser stack then they have this source service browser stack if you want to use dev, dev tool services okay they already have testing board which is again a separate i will say cloud based uh, vendor which will allow you to run your test on the cloud and you can see they have docker services ui5 services slack services rerun let's say if you want to rerun your test cases and uh, i also got very interesting uh, service here which is microsoft team service so basically this service will allow you to publish your report okay on microsoft team using webhook so this is something which i found very interesting so as you can see they have a variety of services which you can use just you need to follow a few configuration steps and you should be able to use it and now let's talk about uh, the api part okay 
okay so now if you see this protocol part so webdriver io as i mentioned it supports multiple protocol so you can go with webdriver protocol apm chromium sauce lab selenium server standalone json wire protocol okay so in this video obviously i will not be discussing this thing in detail it is just i'm giving you overview so that you will have clarity in mind that what webdriver io can do for you now this very important part i want to highlight that in case if you are using older version of uh, webdriver io let's say version 6 5 or 4 then yes you have to refer the older documentation because the documentation which i'm showing you it is for version 7 okay so in case we're going with version 6 5 or 4 you need to follow the different uh, documentation altogether okay you can see the different ui some changes in their documentation okay so in case if you're watching some of the videos the chances are very high that might be on the different versions so do not get confused with that okay and yes these are the browser related commands that you can use okay you can see add command debug delete cookies execute mock if you want to pause save pdf save screenshot a lot of commands available that we will explore one by one not all of them definitely but most of the uh, you know commands which is useful for our test automation we will explore and when it comes to interacting with web elements yes we have uh, different commands okay which will allow you to work on web element let's say you want to double drag, drag and drop you want to get the location you want to capture the text you want to click it's up to you but you can see they have and you can see this for react applications they have special commands and if you want to deal with shadow dome they have a special commands right and this is related to mocking so we'll try to cover them and yeah if you want to explore then they have a dedicated blog where they keep posting about webdriver io so please explore and in case if you are interested in contribution then you can contribute in different manners so please explore it if you want to contribute anything so again before we end this video let's quickly summarize so webdriver io is an open source testing framework which will allow you to run your test on different browsers and mobile devices as well android and ios it supports different frameworks okay chai mocha cucumber etc it's very easy to install it's and it's highly scalable okay it's compatible with different operating system it has you know um, some built-in commands which support shadow dome and is additional commands for react it supports page object model it has its own built-in runner so these are the some unique features of webdriver there are actually a lot of features but these are few of them so in the next video we'll quickly download and install webdriver io and then we will start our webdriver io journey so that's all from this video guys i hope you have enjoyed this session if yes then share this video with your friends and if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe this channel and if you have any query related to webdriver io let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye